Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to share top five apps for your Android smartphone that you will absolutely love. So let's dive in and discover. Also, I will drop links to all the apps down in the description box down below for easy access. All right, let's dive in and discover some top apps that will enhance your user experience even further. All right, so the first application I want to talk about is called the Quotes Creator application. Now, this application is free to download, but you could actually pay $1 to remove ads off of it or buy a package, as I'm going to show you in a minute. But let me show you first what this app does. It is absolutely fantastic. So basically, you're able to create quotes, and then you can share them as photos. Now, here it says double tap to write text, and basically, that's what you want to start by doing. And let's double tap. And over here, let's just say uh, I want to type in subscribe to Saki Tech. Subscribe to Saki Tech. And then over here, uh, it says who said it. So who was the creator of the quote? You can just say Saki, the author of the quote. And then when you click OK, boom, you've got this fantastic thing going on over here. And then at the bottom, as you can see, you have all these options to customize this entire uh, thing. So I can tap on this guy, 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 I can keep scrolling over. You have all these nice looking options uh, that give you different styling, different background colors, different fonts all over the place. Now after you're satisfied with the quote that you have created, you can click on this button here, that's a download button, you click that and it's gonna give you these options. Uh, you can save the image, you can save a template of this image, or you can add a watermark. Now I'm gonna show you one thing at the bottom here, you'll see that it says quotes creator. Now that is a permanent watermark that's gonna show up on every photo you create unless you go over here and you tap on remove watermark. And that's only gonna allow you to uh, do that for $1. It's not that expensive for an application. Uh, the other thing over here that you have is you can remove the ads that you may see every now and then, again for $1. Uh, to, so you'll get for two dollars you get the full version of this application and of course that's not everything you can do over here so you have all these different options like I showed you guys uh, there's literally hundreds and thousands of these different combinations uh, other things you can do is you can actually change the background to a solid background by tapping this palette button so from here I can pick any background color that I desire it's very, very easy to do, or I can, as you can see, just use one of these uh, pre-built options. And again, at the bottom here, you have so many options. You can tap on this guy. You can edit the quote. Uh, you can tap on this guy. You can change the size of the font. You can change the line spacing. Uh, you can change the alignment of your quote. You know, you can center, left, right, whatever. And of course, you can change the width of the frame. And if you tap here, it goes back down. Uh, you have all these options, you can change the font. I can tap here, pick a different font. As you can see, there's a lot of options uh, to pick all kinds of different fonts that look fantastic. Now, if I go back over here, again, tap over here, you have options to customize the interface. Uh, at the end here, you have options to uh, actually uh, make some adjustments to the background. So look at that background, it's very sharp. I can tap on this blur button and I can actually blur this so that, that background now gets blurred out, giving you a nice blur effect. Again, you can change the brightness, saturation, contrast, hue, and all these other things over here, as you can see, okay? So this is called the Quotes Creator application. Everything that I was doing right here can be done uh, by you guys for free. So that's the first app. Let's move on to the next application. All right, the next app is called Zedge App. And so let me launch that show really quick and I show you what it looks like. So it's a wallpaper application and basically it provides you with wallpapers, live wallpapers, ringtones and even notification tones as well as widgets and some other things as you can see at the bottom here. So let me just show you the wallpaper option and then you can go and take a look at the other ones once you download this application. It is a free application and of course the links will be down below. So let's go to wallpapers and as you can see we have the featured wallpapers that you can browse through. Uh, as you please, or you can go to discover and you can discover different wallpapers uh, based on color schemes, based on popular searches, or simply based on categories. Now let me just uh, go over here to feature real quick and let's just pick one wallpaper here. Uh, let's pick this one over here and as you can see there's a little tutorial over here. Let me just skip that real quick. Now once you have the wallpaper uh, uh, actually in front of you, you can tap on the screen to make it full screen to see exactly what it looks like 
and then tap again to go back. And then when you're ready to download, all you do is press this button here, and that allows you to set it as a wallpaper, set it as a lock screen, or simply adjust the wallpaper before you, in fact, apply it to your uh, smartphone. So you can do a preview before you apply. And the other thing over here is you can actually tap on this, and it's going to like that wallpaper, and it's going to give you similar wallpapers in your feed the next time. You do have some options on the top here. You can do things like item details, flag the item, or download the actual wallpaper if you so desire. And you do have this share button here that allows you to share this wallpaper with other people if you so desire. But again, it's a, it's a very basic app, but it's a very rich app. The content in the app is very rich, and that's why I like it. And again, you have all these other things to go through as well. So download this wallpaper, take a look at it, grab some nice wallpapers, and let's move on to the next application. Now the next application is something I was looking to use for myself and I was searching around for the best one and I came across this one. So this is in fact a ruler application but the precision and control of this uh, application is really what appealed to me. So here's the ruler application and it's very basic looking. You can tap on the screen to bring up some options uh, but basically if you want to measure something with precision, this is the ruler app you can use on your smartphone uh, on the go. So as you can see, you can do two kinds of measurements. You can do uh, horizontal and vertical. Uh, and if you tap on the screen over here, you can go to units and you can pick uh, centimeters if that's the one that you want to use. Or if you want to stick with inches, you can do that as well, uh, either in fractional format or decimal format. I like the fractional format right here, as you can see. And then other things you can do is if you go to the settings, uh, you can change the color of the actual thing uh, to a black background. I do prefer the white background and you have a couple other options. But again, uh, this application is 100% free, but you could make a donation if you want to. Uh, it's nice tool to have on your smartphone and it's free. And also, um, you know, remembers the previous measurements that you had done. OK, uh, one more thing with this app is if you tap on this button here, uh, you can do manual measurements. So if you're looking to measure something that is exactly two inches, you can go like this. It's going to adjust that and then you can put it here and make sure the uh, measurements meet your satisfaction. Okay, so that's the ruler app. Let's move on to the next application. Now, next application is another wallpaper application. Uh, but the special thing about this one is it's all 4K wallpapers. Okay, so it's high quality, crisp and sharp wallpapers. So here it is. It's a very simple application. You launch it. Boom. All you get is wallpapers and then you uh, quickly get access to these categories. So you can go abstract, architecture, fantasy. You can scroll through all these categories. If there's something you like, you just go right in and then it's going to show you wallpapers for that particular category. Uh, for example, if I go back up here uh, to architecture, uh, you get some nice, beautiful architectural uh, pieces. And if I wanted to set something up as my uh, wallpaper, I tap this guy over here and it's going to load the image. It takes a while to load the image because it is in fact 4K. And from here, uh, you can set the wallpaper if you want to, like I just did. Uh, you can download the wallpaper if you want to, or you can just like the wallpaper, which is great. Okay, And that's basically how simple this application is. You go back here, you can tap on this button to refresh the categories, and you have a couple other options here. Uh, 4K popular wallpapers, uh, the recent wallpapers, and the ones that you ended up liking, if you had any favorites, they would show up right here. So as you're browsing a wallpaper, uh, you can actually, let's just go over here, favorite that wallpaper, just like that. When you go back out to the main menu, you can tap on this and it's gonna remember your favorites. Now let's go back home, and as you can see, that wallpaper is right there, absolutely fantastic. It's 4K wallpapers, link in the description box down below. Now let's move on to the final top app for your Android. Now this application is not free, you're gonna to have to pay a couple bucks, but you get so much with it that it's absolutely amazing. So it's a bunch of smart tools. Uh, you have uh, six categories, ruler, unit, distance, sound, compass, and light. Let me just show you the ruler. So on the ruler, you just tap on the one that you want to use. So if I wanna use this one, I tap on it, brings up the ruler, okay? And uh, if you want to use the level tool, you tap on the level tool, and that brings up the level tool that you can use to level things, as you can see. So let me just move it around. So this is a great little level tool. And of course, you have other options on the bottom here. You can use the compass tool if you want to. Let's just click allow. So that's a beautiful uh, compass tool. 
just over there that you have access to this tool over here. This is in fact a metal detecting tool. Okay, so you can even have a metal detector. Uh, you can have a sound measuring tool that sounds the intensity of a actual noise that you're making and all this good stuff. So unit converter right over here. So you can convert from any unit to another unit. Uh, area, weight, volume. Uh, you can go to these different categories here. Science, living, basic. All this good stuff. Again, smart tools and is an all-in-one tool, tool kit you need to have for your smartphone if you are into this kind of things. Link will be down in the description box down below. And of course, that was the last app I wanted to talk about. And that brings us to the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. For now, have a fantastic day.